Welcome, I'm Michelle, your host. I have a fantastic large deco mesh everyday wreath for you today. In today's crafting adventure, we're going to be using 10 inch deco mesh to make this beautiful home sweet home deco mesh wreath. This wreath is perfect for indoor or outdoor use. You can use it indoor all year long, or you can use it on your front door as a filler between the holidays. This would also make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. Let me show you how to make it. We're gonna prep our ribbon first. I pulled out five different ribbons. These two I did pick up from Dollar Tree. Uh, this one I believe came out of the fall section. It is their faux burlap green ribbon. And this one I believe came out of the Christmas section. It's this really pretty silver. It is kind of sheer. I like that. I wanted to add just a little bit of sparkle. Uh, this one, your basic one and a half inch black and white buffalo check. This one I did pick up at Hobby Lobby. This was the Robert Stanley collection. This one is one of my favorites. I purchased this several times from craftoutlet.com. I'll include the item number for this really pretty ribbon in the description section. This is one and a half inches and it has just that beautiful glitter on it, but it's not super overly glittered. I love this. And the last one here is this one. This one I did pick up from the 99 cent store. I love the green and I love that check. I like the way they did this one and they're very similar in their color of green so i thought these two would go beautifully together out of each of these ribbons you need to cut nine pieces at 12 inches i have my ribbon cut nine pieces of each at 12 inches and now i'm dovetailing all of my ribbon and laying them out for my bundles it'll make it much easier when we go to pull this together I just fold my two ends together, fold again, and cut. I absolutely love these scissors. I recently picked them up from Amazon. You can find them in my associate shop. They work fabulous for cutting ribbon. You can cut multiple pieces of ribbon at a time and it still gives you a really clean cut. Now this is the ribbon I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This is a lot softer and I was noticing when I was cutting it that it does fray. So to take care of that, you just need a lighter and just get slightly close and it will singe the ends and then you don't have to worry about your ribbon fraying. You will also need a 14 inch working wreath form. If you have not seen me put one of these together, I will link a short video that'll teach you how to do it in the description box below. You will also need two rolls of 10 inch by 10 yard deco mesh. Both of these I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They are poly pro mesh ribbon and they are weatherproof. So this is perfect to go outside. We're going to start with our jute color and we're going to have a lot of fun with this wreath today. We're going to be using three different methods to fill in the base as well as a lot of beautiful ribbon. So to get this started, you want to scrunch your ends, place it inside one of the pipe cleaners on the inner ring. I prefer to start on the inner ring. If you prefer to start on the outer ring, by all means, go right ahead. You just wanna make sure that's nice and secure. Now to help me measure my poofs, I'm gonna be using my small cutting mat. You can also use a ruler. Now you want to start measuring from where you tied it on. And we're gonna be measuring our poofs at 10 inches. So grab your mesh and gently pull to 10 inches, pinch, 
go to the next pipe cleaner and add your mesh. You just want to give a good twist or two to make sure that mesh doesn't pull out and then continue to work your way around the inner ring. For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials used in today's project. This list will not only tell you how much you're going to need, it will also let you know where I purchased the materials. I'm right back where I started, so now I'm going to move to the lower ring or outer ring. And I'm just going to drop down, give a twist or two, and then work my way around the outside. So I have applied the poof method to cover the first layer of my base and I went through and opened everything up. Now as you can see that's not sufficient. You can still see through and see your wreath form but don't worry by the time we're done this wreath is going to be so thick and full it's going to be gorgeous. You have about a half a roll left of the jute color that you used for the poof method. With the rest of this roll, you want to cut it into strips at about 8 inches, and you're looking to get 18 pieces. With your green and jute colored mesh, you want to cut this into strips at 20 inches, and you should get 18 pieces. I prefer to use a rotary cutter, but if you have good scissors, you can use that as well. I have all my mesh cut and my ribbon is ready to go. The jute color, the rest of the roll I cut at 8 inches and my green and jute colored mesh I cut at 20 inches and I got exactly 18 pieces. We're going to start with this. So the first thing we're going to do with the 20 inch mesh is we're going to do a cruffle. So you want to start at one end, get a good roll or two in there. It needs to be a solid roll, and you don't want to roll it too tight. If you roll it too tight, you'll know because the ends will start sticking out. If that happens, you want to go back and loosen up your roll. If you leave it like that, you'll end up getting more fraying. Go to the opposite side and do the same thing. Give a good roll or two. Pinch in the center and then scrunch across. And I'm going to be using my Bodabra. I like to use this machine to hold my bundles as I put them together. I have arthritis in my hands and it makes it difficult for me. But if you don't have a bow maker, you can always use one of the clips. Um, for this mesh, because it's so large, I would use one of the larger clips if you're going to use it instead of the bow maker. And then on top of this, we're going to add a curl of the jute color. And again, you don't want to roll too tight. Just kind of let it roll up. Find the center, and then I kind of pinch and twist as I put it in. That helps. And then top it off with your ribbon. Now, the first bundle is going to have one of the green with the white stripes, and then one of the white ribbon. And I find if you kind of pinch and place them in the bow maker, crossing then that's exactly what they'll do and you have to fight with it less once you get it onto the wreath. Okay so the cruffles in the middle and then one ribbon on this side and one ribbon on that side. Now for this wreath as I add my bundles I'm going around the inner ring first and then I'm going to move to the outer ring but that's completely up to you. So just open up your pipe cleaner. My table's not quite big enough. I need to go on this side. Okay, so open up your pipe cleaner. Grab your bundle, and you want to put your bundle sideways like this. If you put it the other way where it goes long ways, you're going to end up with too much mesh in the center and not enough to fill in your wreath. 
Pull that nice and snug and give a good couple twists. You want to twist that down a little bit more because we're going to be trimming. Usually leave about a half inch and then push the ends down. And then I like to go in and just kind of lift up my ribbon. Kind of give it a curl at the end. Now as this fills in and you get more and more into the wreath, they will start stacking up against each other and you're going to get more lift and more thickness. And then for this bundle, I'm going to do one of the silver, the plain green, and the buffalo check. If you're enjoying today's content, make sure to subscribe. And when the notification bell pops up, if you hit that too, YouTube will let you know every time I upload new content. And I do upload new content to my channel every week. I have all of my bundles and my ribbon in and I'm very pleased with the end result. It is so beautiful. I love all the different textures and all the neutral colors. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the sign that I've chosen for the wreath today. I did pick this up from craftoutlet.com. This is a really nice thick sign. I did go ahead and cut off the jute cord hanger. We're not going to be using that. I have four pipe cleaners that we're going to attach here onto the back. And because our sign is so nice and thick, I'm going to be using my staple gun. Now, a staple gun is really inexpensive. You can usually pick it up at any hardware store for about $20 to $30. And I use one fourth of an inch staples so that they won't go through to the front. So I'm going to place one on either side at the top and one at either side at the bottom here. Once you've got it stapled in, just add a little bit of hot glue. You don't want your uh, pipe cleaner to slip out. My sign is attached and I went back in and adjusted my ribbon. I'm very pleased with the end result. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and would be perfect to suit any home. Now this wreath is beautiful. It's very well made. It could last forever if you kept it inside, but this can also be put outside on your door to fill in in between the holidays. The finished wreath measures at 26 inches in diameter. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. If you know anyone who would enjoy my content, please share it with them. Thanks again for stopping by. Your visit is always appreciated. You have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.